me in it. Yeah. So you're cutting for your little sample, which will make a little cuff thing like this to show about the difference of stretching something on and not stretching something on. You are cutting oblongs. Now two are the same width. So I've got this narrow one, which is going to be the, the actual body of the sleeve. And then I'm going to have this one because it's going to be double. So the cuffs are double. Okay, so that's the same width, which will be the same here. And then this one is going to stretch on. So it's going to be smaller. You need to make sure that whatever you cut it down to, it can stretch on. So it's the percentage of the fabric and it needs to be able to stretch. It's about 30% less is what you want it to be um, to get it a nice fit. But it's all about measurements of the wrist or the neck band, however you want it to be. So the first thing you want to do is to make them tubes. So they're going to be like cuffs. You can see that Jersey curls, so it curls towards the right side. And we're just going to put the short edges together. So I'm using the industrial. And it's much nicer now, much steadier, is not going to eat your fingers or anything. When you do your bulk production, you can just keep putting them in together. Obviously, it's cutting on the blade to make sure that lines up. When we're working with jersey, we've not got seam allowances, so we're just skimming. We've got quarter inch seam allowances for the overlocker. If you've made a pattern and you've got bigger seam allowances or one you're using, you need to trim off accordingly. Make sure they're all lined up. We don't put pins near the overlockers because it blunts the blades. Okay, and then we've got those. Right, let's just trim those over. So now I've got my body, my, my sleeve, and two bands. When we've got these bands, one's obviously smaller than the other, so I'll start with the easier one, which is the same size. We refer to it as sectioning. So we, you fold it wrong sides together, and that seam, it's quite bulky if you put them all together, so have one on one side and flip the other to the other side so it goes flipped together like that and then you line all the raw edges up so you put wrong sides together so that the cuff edge is at the bottom here you will then lovingly I'll put that on put right sides together onto your sleeve or your leg or whatever you want a band on and match those so the seams that's right sides together and all of those line up you would then want to make sure this is the same size but when you're stretching it you need to section it so you need to make sure that it's divided into four and pinned equally all the way around when you sew a curve it can be a little bit fiddly so you want to put the machine fit lift the foot up and then start that way make sure that all three are lined up Right, and this is the same, so there's no stretching going on. This is flat sewing, but just make sure that it's taut and it all goes in together. Wrapping it around, making sure they're all lined up. You can pre-clip these together or pin them, but if pins are anywhere near the overlocker, they need to come out here so that you're not anywhere near the blade. And obviously if you've got seam allowances, otherwise um, you trim excess off, otherwise just skim it. But black's not the very good colour really for a demonstration. So all three layers are caught and then you want to make sure that you go back over that initial bit and then sew it off. So we've done our first cuff and that's the same. So that's a nice, if it was an extension, a colour band, something like that, exactly the same be for um, an ankle of a legging or a cuff or a wrist but it's the same so it's baggy if we want it then right inside out back to this one that I joined together so we're repeating the process obviously this is much smaller fold it wrong sides together flipping one to the other side so they reduce the bulk 
lining that. Now this is where it's important to distribute evenly and take your time, which I'm not, um, in making sure that you've got the half ways matched. So I put right sides together, one inside the other, matching those up. And then opposite, you can see this one is smaller. So we're going to stretch that one to fit. And we're using this stretch in the garment to fit it together. But to make sure that it's all even, you want to divide it into four and pin it into four equally. So I'll just start it off on that bit there so I know the needle's down. And then I know my halfway. I can pull that and make sure that that is pulled flat. So I'm stretching it as I sew and making sure it's all evenly distributed. But I'm pulling the cuff on the inside so it stretches to fit flat. Don't need to overstretch the other garments. Just need to stretch that bottom cuff. And this is what you see on sweat tops, leggings, um, pulling it in. So you could, although these are both jersey, you could add a ribbed cuff to a woven fabric, turn it the right side, and then you can see the difference it makes when you stretch it on as opposed to having it with no stretch.